This video gives an introduction to challenge-based learning. We look at the following in this video. Definition of challenge-based learning, its fundamentals, teacher's role in challenge-based learning, psychology behind this learning approach, and finally the framework of the challenge-based learning. What is challenge-based learning, CBL? Challenge-based learning is a structured model for course content with a foundation in earlier strategies, such as collaborative problem-based learning. But instead of presenting students with a problem to solve, this offers general concepts from which the students should derive the challenges they will address. Fundamentals of challenge-based learning Since we try to find out a solution to real problem, everyone is a learner. Naturally, learning goes beyond the classroom. Challenge-based learning revolves around the learner, with inspiration, and a focus on their active participation. Focuses on 21st century skills, in addition to the subject knowledge. Provides space for freedom to fail, learn lessons, and move forward. Slow process for critical and creative thinking. Focus on the process and the solutions. Emphasis on reflection at each step. Documentation of all actions and findings. Authenticity in respect of all the work. And, use of technology. In order to ensure that the students are equipped with career readiness, learning has been elevated to a higher level, with focus on 21st century learning principles. Challenge-based learning gives high emphasis on these skills in addition to the subject knowledge. 21st century learning is the acquisition of key academic subject knowledge, with additional skills including learning skills, life skills, and literacy skills. Learning skills, also known as the four C's of 21st century learning, these include critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. Life skills are, flexibility, initiative, social skills, productivity, and leadership. Literacy skills include, information literacy, media literacy, and technology literacy. Teachers' role in challenge-based learning one of the biggest differences between challenge-based learning and traditional teaching and learning is the role of the teachers and the students. Teachers become more than information experts, they become collaborators. Students focus on each discrete part of the challenge-based learning, and they may find it difficult to keep the larger picture in mind. As a senior learner, the teacher helps them identify learning goals and curriculum standards, create a plan, and manage their time. As challenge-based learning emphasizes exploring the topic in many angles, and involving many disciplines, teachers from different disciplines are advantages. Psychology behind challenge-based learning A challenge creates a stimulus in your brain, that forces you to use prior knowledge, problem-solving skills, strategic reasoning creativity, insight, and perseverance to solve the challenge. According to Dr. Arthur Costa, a professor at California State University, when we draw upon these intellectual resources, the results that are produced are more powerful, of higher quality, and of greater significance than if we fail to employ those intellectual behaviors. Let us now look at the CBL framework that consists of mainly three phases. Phase 1, Engage. There are three steps in Phase 1. Step 1, Finding a Big Idea. The starting point for developing a challenge experience is a big idea. Big ideas are broad concepts that are explored in multiple ways and are relevant to the learners and the larger community. Examples are energy, water, health, education, environment etc. Step 2. Essential Questioning This is the generation of a wide variety of essential questions that reflect personal interests and the needs of the community within the big idea. For example, if your big idea is water, then essential questions may be, how is water wasted? How does my water consumption impact the world? And, do all have access to clean water? Step 3. Identify Challenge from each essential question, a challenge is articulated, that asks learners to create a specific answer or solution that can result in concrete, meaningful actions. Possible challenges for the big idea, water, could be, 
protect local waterways, reduce water pollution, and reuse of water in industries. Phase 2. Investigate. This phase also consists of three steps. Step 1. Guiding questions. These questions point towards the knowledge, the students will need to develop a solution to the challenge. Step 2. Guiding activities and resources. These will help you to answer the guiding questions you prepared in the previous step. Activities and resources could include interviews, research articles, annual reports of companies, textbooks, web resources, YouTube, preliminary experiments, surveys, or anything that would provide answers to the guiding questions. Step 3. Analysis of the lessons learned through the guiding activities. In this step, you will synthesize the solutions or answers found for the guiding questions and activities that will eventually support to establish the solutions. Phase 3. Act. This phase also consists of three steps. Step 1. Solution. In this step, you develop multiple solution concepts that logically flow from the investigation phase. Step 2. Implementation. In this step, the solution is implemented in real setting with an authentic audience. Step 3. Evaluation. This is the last step of the whole process if you will not publish and disseminate your the solution to the challenge. Assessments in CBL. The assessments in CBL requires rubrics to ensure that you maintain consistency among different student groups and to ensure that all the aspects the students must be familiar with to solve the real problems are adequately assessed. The assessment could happen during the project period at specified milestones, and at the end of the project. The assessment should focus on understanding of subject knowledge, real-world skills, and the process of CBL itself.